now you need to understand basic concept of virtualization that is facilitated by ready api that is something which we need to understand now i'll recap the definition of virtual service it's nothing but it's a simulated fake representation of your real service now what this virtual service contains it contains your stub that defines request and what response that particular request will send to the client fine for others who are using your virtual api they will feel that it is the real api so after testing is done when real in production they have to do they have to just go and change the endpoint to the production that's what they have to do also your virtual service that you are creating is not capable of running on its own you need a runner and that runner is something which is provided by ready api so ready api provides you runner to run your virtual service that you are going to create now these virtual services are termed as virtual api in case of ready api so don't get confused when i say virtual service and virtual api there are multiple different ways to create virtual apis and we will see there but before we go ahead we need to understand that in ready api how virtual service works and it is entirely similar believe me you will be able to connect with what we have discussed earlier in wire mock also or even in postman so what we do here you will have a virtual service i mean to say your virtual service will receive a request when it receives the request what it does it finds out virtual operation on basis of what on basis of matching request that this is what you need to remember but before we move there and see the sequence of activity that is done these are some of the capabilities which are provided by ready api from perspective of service virtualization it provides you capacity or capability to create run manage virtual services so what i need to do what i need to know i need to know how i need to create a virtual service how i need to configure a virtual service how i need to run a virtual service how i need to manage a virtual service so as a ready api professional these are the things that i need to know so you can start working on code and test before developer finishes implementing the api operations obviously you can create client code and test even if some operations are not available obviously we have discussed that service virtualization helps to quickly create working mocks of web service no doubt about it we have done that in wire mock as well developers and qa engineers can work in parallel i mean to say they can utilize the same virtual service what all are the supported virtual service protocols or services you have soap simple object access protocol so there are still certain web services which are made using soap rest we have seen that in wiremark jms tcp jdbc so this is what is scope of virtualization so if someone is saying that okay what type of services i can virtualize in ready api you can virtualize so you can virtualize rest you can virtualize jms you can virtualize tcp you can virtualize jdbc so assume that you are using a jms compliant mom and that code of middleware is still not ready but your application needs call to that jms service for put message get message so you don't need to create a real jms compliant environment you can do that in your ready api by virtualizing jms service similarly jdbc database so depends what actually is your need and how you want to capture that particular need fine now in ready api you can create virtual set that emulates behavior you can create rest from scratch see these are the different ways in which you can create a virtual service create from rest i mean to say from scratch use open api swagger or wadl specification and other is discover so it contains discovery api that helps you to quickly create your virtual service and add operations to it 